We all know California's broke, but not everybody in that state is acting like it. 1,000 employees of the state legislature are getting a raise, approved by the state senate and the assembly. About 10% of those people already earn more than $100,000 a year. Entirely separately, the state parks department had recently been crying poverty, threatening to cut services and close parks, pleading for donations as well. Turns out the department had $54 million as a surplus stashed away on the quiet. The department's director has resigned. Now you're laughing. You're I laughing. Like I don't know term, why you're laughing. I like the term on the quiet. Yeah. Well, stashed away. You know, if, what else could I say? It's not in a Swiss bank account, we believe, That's but right. it is stashed away. Your comment, Ed. I mean, it's amazing. This, this guy resigns because he saved money. I mean, obviously, the, you know, the theme in, in California is spend as much as you can. They basically have just thrown their hands up. I mean, giving raises to a thousand people, you know, in, in this state. In, in this the state, legislature. In the legislature. That, that is already bankrupt. I mean, remember, they just passed a new train that goes from, I guess, Los Angeles to San Francisco for money they don't have. They're just playing around. They, it's like Monopoly to them. No, they're just too hypnotized by the Facebook capital gains revenue coming in to see straight. <laughs> so that's the problem. But it's not coming in. No, it's not coming in. No. That's right. <laughs> so what's the end game? Come on, uh, give me a guess here. What's the end game? They've got a whopping great big deficit. Right. They want tax increases. They're having trouble borrowing all the money that they need. Give me an end game. What is it? Uh, I, I got to tell you, Stuart, I have no idea what they're thinking, why they're doing I know this. The they're engagement. going to basically be insolvent. Then they're going to go to the government for money. And, you know, who knows what happens from there? You What's know, the when answer? their tax hikes don't come in, they look to other ways to raise taxes. You're going to see higher sales taxes in the state of California and Good possibly point. an increase in property taxes because that's the easiest way to collect And them. cut services even yeah, more that's than right. cut so far. That's, that's right. That's, that's almost set, setting concrete. I mean, California right now, they're overtaxed. It's, get used to it. It's going to get worse probably. Look, look this is a topic that we hit each and every day on Varney and Company, states that are going broke. Soaring Medicaid costs, public worker pension obligations spiraling right out of control. It's so bad that our next guest says it could even threaten the social order of the country. Mm -hmm. This man's a star. Former New York Lieutenant Governor Richard Ravitch is here. So welcome to the program. Pleased to be here. Now you chaired a committee with, uh, with Paul Volcker and you looked at the state of the state finances. And you said, look, it is so bad, and in the immediate future, we're going to be cutting social services, and that could threaten the social order? Explain, please. Well, fundamentally, Medicaid expenses and pension obligations and OPEB obligations, health care obligations to employees of cities and states are growing faster than state and local revenues are growing. And there is no reason to believe that that gap is going to close in the foreseeable future. There is the possibility and indeed the necessity of doing something about the federal budget deficit as well. People are not conscious of the impact that that would have on state and local budgets. Uh, the states like California and Illinois, those two states in particular, are they, in the back of their minds, are they hoping and praying for a federal bailout? I don't think anybody has any illusions anymore about that. And they are very different. Every state has its own constitution, its own statutory system. California has a fiscal waterfall. They must apply their revenues first to the payment of their debt. So that is why they've accumulated so much debt, because they can borrow on their general obligation very, very easily. So let's uh, let They're cutting services. They're cutting aid to cities, which is why you see three cities cities now in California that have been forced to file bankruptcy. You think there's riots coming? No, I don't think the apocalypse is around the corner. I think it's, it's one, it's amazing to me and really appreciate your interest in this subject, how few people in the community of talking heads even think about this or talk about this. For every story about the federal deficit, uh, for every hundred stories about the federal deficit, there's maybe one yeah. story about yeah. a state or local problem, and that only comes up when somebody actually files bankruptcy. But, but in a place like California and Illinois, class sizes are growing because the education budget is being cut. Police officers are being laid off because the pensions that have got to be paid are, very, are lavish and cannot be paid. Can you, can you tell me what is the end game in a state like California? What happens? I don't think they know. Because they can't go bankrupt. A city can go bankrupt, but a state cannot. Is, so that, what's end game? That is correct. I think the 
Endgame is that states have got to start doing three things. One, to reform their, their uh, budget system to go to some kind of accrual or gap system of budgeting, which is what we did for New York City in 1975, and New York City almost What would that out. do for accrual it or gap? It would mean the public that? that your recurring revenues had to match your recurring uh, expenses. Well, that means you've got to cut That sounds really simple. Use, but you've got to cut expenses then, surely. That's well, here, what that means, right? Yes, and, and or raise revenues, or both. And as a practical matter, in a democracy, I suspect that both will happen at the same time. So you well, agree? You're, yeah, what you're talking about is multi-year budgeting, sort of what Texas does. But the real fallacy, Mr. Ravitch, too, is, is that the states will say, wait a second, we're supposed to be balanced. We're supposed to submit balanced budgets, right? Yes. And that's a fallacy because it's only on paper, not in reality. California's the Let largest explain it to deficit very in to ensuing years, right? I can explain it very simply. Every state has a legal requirement to have a balanced budget. But that's on but paper. It defined, but they don't define revenue. So they use the proceeds of borrowings or the proceeds of asset sales mm. and treat those as revenues for budget balancing purposes. That is precisely what, what got New York City in the early 70s to the verge of bankruptcy. And the first thing we did, we created a control board that oversaw the city's budget. We required the city to budget uh, uh, in accordance with generally accepted... Can I, can I interrupt for a second? Please. You con you got a control board. Yes. You pushed the politicians aside, didn't you? You, well, had a, you had a board that says, we're going to do this. The truth of the matter is, you can't take the politics out of politics totally in a democracy, nor would you want to. But you had the discipline of having a body, in this case, chaired by the governor, who was fiscally very responsible, and who understood that ultimately the state had, if not legally enforceable obligation to the cities had a strong moral obligation, particularly when you had <laughs> you put your a, foot down, didn't you? A seven, <laughs> uh, eight million people, or close to half of the population of the state living in New York City. You put your foot down, didn't you? Yes. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Are you Thank thinking you. of moving to Los Angeles anytime soon? No, sir. No. But I don't think that I hear too many people say that if states raise taxes, people will move. Somebody told me everybody will move to Nevada, and I said, that's great. Then they'll have to build a subway system in Las Vegas. And you fix the New York City subway? <laughs> All right, Richard Ravitch, for, Lieutenant Governor of New York, formerly so. Thank you for joining us, sir. My pleasure.